Hello everyone, my name is Patricia Meredith and I am here to tell you more about Victor Baker Candlestick Taker, book one of the Spokane Clock Tower Mysteries, now available in print, ebook, and audiobook. I actually wanted to take a minute to answer one of the questions that I get quite a bit. It's actually not about the book, it's about why am I dressed like this? Well, for one, it's very comfortable. <laughs> I actually love dressing in my 1901 costumes and ensembles. Um, I actually have quite a few now that I've collected. I love the hat. Um, I've actually included some peacock feathers because we do have peacocks he out here on the farm. Um, I love the hat because it just completes the whole ensemble and it hides my messy hair. <laughs> so um, I was asked recently how long it takes me to get dressed and actually putting on the actual clothes, maybe 10 minutes. It's really not that long, maybe five even. Um, it's the hair. The hair takes me forever to get it right. And even then it ends up super messy usually. And then I get to tuck it under a hat. So, you know, it ends up not mattering what it looks like, uh, which is very helpful. So the earrings I know are a little anachronistic, um, but I love book earrings. I've been collecting them with different uh, book covers on them. And then these are actually a pair that I like to wear to cons when I go. And I've been having different authors that I've met uh, sign the insides, which is so fun. Um, and then I've got my brooch, um, which is from my great grandmother. And then I've got a matching ring that I'm also wearing. Um, and then I've got some other brooches that I've collected too. Uh, and I'll have to do a whole separate thing just on the, the pieces of my ensemble that are actually um, historical heirlooms. Um, and then I've got my vest and my puffed sleeves. Makes me feel like Anne of Green Gables, which was written in the time period that I'm writing in, 1901. Uh, so that's super fun. Uh, and she's just my idol. And Anne of Green Gables is my idol. I love her so much. Uh, so positive and encouraging. Um, but yes, and then I do uh, wear a corset. I wear a real corset. Um, I actually love it. It supports my back. Uh, it gives me the figure I want. It makes me feel confident. So um, in answer to why do I dress this way, first off, it's comfortable. I love it. It makes me feel confident. And secondly, that's the main reason is it makes me feel confident. Um, I don't like speaking to people <laughs> in person. Um, I get very nervous. Uh, even filming these things, I end up editing them because uh, I just, I get so flustered talking to people. Um, but when I put on my costume, when I put on my ensemble, then I become my author persona. Uh, not that I'm not naturally like this. I am. It just gives me the confidence to be who I am uh, when I dress like this. So, um, yeah, that's why I love it. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. Um, I actually buy all of my clothes for my costume at Recollections, uh, which is recollections.com. Uh, they do costuming for TV shows. Uh, so it's excellent quality, quality stuff. Excellent craftsmanship. It's just, it's so comfortable. It is clothes that feel like they're made for you. Um, and it's just so comfortable. And it's really, it's the way clothes should be, right? Clothes should tell you something about a person. And um, hopefully mine say a uh, confident author uh, writing in the historical time period of uh, turn of the century 1900s uh, because that's what I am. So thank you for asking and uh, I hope you all will pick up a copy of Butcher Baker Candlestick Taker now available in print, audiobook, and ebook. Thank you so much everybody.